Hello everyone, this is Hilary from Scrappy Mommy and I'm back to share with you my very first mini album. Yay! With my own page design and I just made this simple, nothing so fancy. And I just want to say that I'm learning so many things on making Kathy Orta's projects and I think I'm never gonna stop doing paper phenomenons projects because um, she makes gorgeous projects and it caters to what I need and what I want because I want my album to be um, about more of photos or journaling or little sentiments rather than about um, embellishments. Um, I love chunky embellishments but not on my pages maybe I'll use it uh, or I, I'd rather use it on my album cover if ever I have the opportunity to do so so um, so on this album um, I use bundle of joy um, paper collection from Echo Park and I use two of these two sets of these and I only have um, scrap papers left and the sticker sheets I used um, almost all the papers so on this um, um, this album measures um, wait I have to get my ruler this album measures um, seven and a half by nine and my spine is three and a half And for the closure, I use um, Tyvek, Tyvek, and this is a Tim Holtz buckle, and I just um, placed three eyelets here, and then this closure was inspired um, from Kathy Orta's my design mini album I really like the closure she made there so uh, um, this was inspired from that and so this I also um, put two eyelets here and then the buckle so on this um, front cover this is a sticker this is a sticker that I backed up with um, white cardstock and I just fussy cut it and then I use glue dots on this to make it um, look like three dimensional and then this is uh, this is a frame that I made it's like a Polaroid uh, frame and then this is a banner, a sticker, and I also backed it up with white card stock and I fussy cut it. And then I place two sticker of hearts in here. And then this is also a sticker that I backed up with white card stock and fussy cut it. And this is a chipboard piece from the collection. It's a sweet bundle of joy. And I just place it there. I just made it simple. And this is a sticker that I just place inside here so she can put the photo of her daughter here. She can remove this one. So there. And then this one opens up like this. And 
excuse me. This is a custom order from my husband's boss and she wanted a baby girl mini album for the baby's first year so I made her this and on this album I used Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge Plus binding system and I have um, six pages here as you can see and my pages are six by eight and I really love this um, binding system it gives more um, more room for photos for embellishments and my album just lay um, lays flat and I love it and <laughs> as you can see I have um, already have chunky pages but it still lays flat so I'm gonna use this um, binding system for all the mini albums that I will make and so on this this is the first page and I also used um, Tyvek for my spine or for the binding for the hinges and I backed it up with white cardstock and it is so very hard to fold but it's worth it because it's more sturdy and I don't know if um, I'll just use Tyvek if um, it will be sturdy so I decided to back it up with a cardstock so on this um, on this right here I made a pocket and I use acetate because I want to see the inside of this and I made two photo mats and a small envelope so this is the first photo mat she can add a photo here and then this is a sticker that I added here and backed it up with white cardstock so she can journal here and I just added a button there it says cute as a button and this is from a different collection and here she can journal or add some more photos and this one is a 4x6 cut apart and I fussy cut this one so she can insert the photo here like this and then just plain at the back so she can journal or add more photos and this is a small envelope that I made using Martha, Martha's towards scoring board and I just add a sticker here it says love you this is also from the collection and I just added this uh, Tim Holtz paper clip it is so cute <laughs> so small and she can place here inside if ever she wrote a letter for her daughter and I use this paper clip because I don't want to add more bulk inside this packet so I just used a paper clip so on this page um, so this is the first page um, each page has a side packet and I made a large tag for that mm, but let me tell you about this first um, I made this frame using uh, edge punch that I bought from Daiso and it's very hard to use and so I use this on this frame but I like the heart uh, so I used it 
And then this is a 3 by 4 cut apart from the collection and she can write um, the baby stats, daytime weight, height, eye color and hair color. And she can place the photo here. And she wanted me to be the one to to put the photos of her daughter here. So after I place the photos, I'll add more stickers. And I also made um, some pages plain so I can make a collage. And after I put the photos, I can decorate. So I didn't decorate most of the <coughs> excuse me, most of the plain pages here. And I added this small tag so she can journal or add more photo. And this one opens up like this. And in here, I just stamp on the side birth story so she can write the birth story there. And I think that's nice because she can place the, um, the photo of her daughter here when she was born. And then write the story here. And this one opens up. And this is a space for photos or a collage, uh, like photos from the hospital. And I just placed there a sticker from the collection. It says, congratulations on your new arrival. And then um, I made a packet here and placed two photo mats. And this is a 4x6 cut apart from the collection. It says, welcome baby girl. And she can add photo at the back. And I used my, um, this, I used my EK Success binding it binding edge punch here and then I just place a strip of, of pattern paper and then this is a sticker of a bird and this is a photo mat you can place a photo here and I place here baby feet this is a sticker from the collection so she can place the photo of her baby's tiny feet and at the back just plain so she can add another photo or she can journal and I just add this sticker so she can write how many weeks old her daughter was and in here this is a 3 by 4 cut apart it says I love you today tomorrow and forever and always and I just mat this with pattern paper so she can place a 3 by 4 photo here. And this one opens up. She can add another photo and journal in here. And this is a sticker of a rubber ducky. And she can place maybe a photo of her daughter's first bath here. And this also opens up. And she can place another photo and journal here. And I just added this sticker. She can write how many weeks old is her baby. So this one closes like this. This is magnetized. And this is the side tag. So each side packet, I made a large photo mat from the first month to 12th month so she can uh, make a layout of photos or collage and journal here and I just left this side open so she can insert something if she journal on a paper she can insert here or insert the photo there so this is the first month second month and I just used this pastel colored cardstock of pink and green and just matches the collection and the next page 
this is just a plain page that she can make a layout or collage or place a large photo and in here this is a flip out and she can place another photo here and then I just place a sticker there it says sweet dreams little one and this is a packet and I place a photo mat she can place a photo here and this is a sticker bundle of joy and I just place a strip of pattern pattern paper here and on this side just plain so she can journal or an add another photo and here she can place another photo and I just added a sticker there special delivery and in here this is a white cardstock that I used my EK Success binding edge punch and this is a um, cut apart from the this is from a, the, a different paper collection from Pebble special delivery paper, paper collection um, I made a baby girl portfolio using that collection and I have a piece of paper left of the cut apart so I use some of the some of that on this album on this album and this is the first giggle and she can write the date there and insert the photo here I left this side open so she can insert the photo or the photo there on the next page this is a sticker you are so loved and if she wants she can place a photo here and this one um, opens up like that she can place another photo at the top and this is a pocket and I place a large photo mat here and this is a 3 by 4 cut apart the same as the one I put on the first page and I place two photo mats inside I left this side open and just Add here the side and the bottom she can place photos here or journal and this is these two are stickers that I just layered and this owl I just backed it up with white cardstock and fussy cut it so this one goes in here So on this next page, um, this is a pocket page that you can remove from this. I just place magnets there and this is inspired from the Little Miss Cupcake mini album from Kathy Orta that I made one for my baby and so she can place a photo here and this one has a pocket and I place another photo mat here she can an add another photo and this is just a strip of pattern paper and this is a butterfly sticker and I used I just use my 2 inch EK success 2 inches circle punch here and I cut it in half and just um, place it on both sides and at the back just plain I just mat it with a pattern paper and this is a belly band and I place a large photo mat and I place two photo mats here so she can 
um, put two photos here and I just use a heart um, corner punch here that I bought from Daiso and this is a sticker from the collection it says pure joy and happiness in my heart and then this is a white card stock that I just used my binding punch and I just added there a sticker baby girl just for journaling and I left this open sides open so she can insert the photos here and at the bottom so on the next page this is a gatefold and this is a sticker precious little angel that I backed up with white card stock and I placed a brad here that is from the collection and this is a safety pin sticker that I also backed up with card stock and this is a Tim Holtz brad so it opens up like this and I just placed here like uh, film strips but I use but I just used my binding punch here and she can place two photos on this side and on this side and here is a large space for a large photo or for a collage or a layout and then I just added a sticker there forever in my heart and sticker of hearts and love sweetheart and this is the size of the photo that can fit in here so she can crop the photo there using this um, um, what do you call this using this um, paper <laughs> she can trace this from that size sorry and then on this page um, she can place a large photo or make a collage and then um, or a layout and this is a side pocket for third month and fourth month and if I will put the pictures here um, I'll place first the photos and then I'll add more stickers to decorate to decorate and then on the next page um, this is a chipboard piece says precious and I just adhere the bottom so I can insert this 3x4 that is also from the pebbles paper collection it says rolls over front to back back to front she can write the date and place the photo at the back and insert another photo here this one opens up like this and on this page this is a small tab also from the pebbles paper collection it says holds her head up on her own so she can write the date there and I just inserted this white card stock that I use my bind binding punch and this is for journaling and this is for the photos and I made this um, flip out pocket envelope and I use acetate so she can place anything inside here whatever she wants and this is a sticker it says little one from the collection and in here she can add another photo and I just place there 
two stickers of a baby bottle and a safety pin and in here another large photo or she can make a layout or a collage and then I place a sticker there bundle of joy and in here on this page this is like a half page and this is a 3x4 cut apart from the paper collection it says let her sleep for when she makes <laughs> for when she wakes she will move mountains and this is a packet and I place a photo mat and this is a sticker that I backed up with pattern paper and this is a brad from the collection so you can pull this one out and she can place a photo here and this is a sticker and then a sticker a sweet girl and just plain at the back and she can add smaller photos here and at the back just plain and I forgot about this I'll place maybe a sticker here or a pattern paper and this one flips out like this and I made a small pocket here and this is a sticker of a pink elephant from the collection and I just insert this um, cardstock for journaling and added, a st added stickers of baby bottle and sentiment baby girl just plain at the back and she can add smaller photos here and on this page there are two flaps and I just place this paper clip there and this one I bought from Daiso a long time ago and this one opens up like this oops sorry um, on this side um, this is a belly band and I use a binding punch here oh sorry an edge punch of hearts and I insert this photo mat she can add another photo and journal and then I added this three hearts sticker so this one opens up and she can add another photo there and in here I added this packet small packet and this is a sticker from the collection that I backed up with white cardstock and I adhere it here and then I place two photo mats here and this is also from the pebbles paper collection it says first tooth she can write the date and place the photo at the back and this is a photo mat so this one and also she can place a photo in here and I just piece these two pattern paper together and this is for the fifth and six months and on the next page um this is a sticker it says miracle from the paper collection and she can um, place two smaller photos here and this one has two packets and I made two photo mats or tags and she can place a photo there and I just added this sticker growing baby and at the back a ship and then sweetie and then hearts and this one opens up like this 
I just place this back. And here she can add another two small photos and this is a sticker and I left this open so she can slide the photo there and this is just a large space for another large photo or layout or collage <laughs> and on this page I love this page I made a belly band and a cascading photo mats and I made a closure here this is a sticker from the collection that I backed up with cardstock and this one opens up like this this is magnetized and I just added a sticker here sweet bundle and this is a sticker and she can place three by four photos here and there's a small pocket here and I place this three by four from the collection and she can add photo at the back and I didn't mat the back side because I didn't want to add more bulk so I just mat the front side and here I made a large photo mat and I just place here a strip of pattern paper that I used my binding punch and this is a sticker from the collection and I left this side open so she can slide the photo here or insert the photo here same at the bottom and then just plain at the back and this is for the seventh month and eighth month on the next page another opportunity for a layout or a collage and this one opens up and here she can add another photo and this one opens up another photo here and then here for journaling and this is a pocket and I place a photo mat inside and these are two stickers from the collection you are so loved and let her be little for one day soon she won't be anymore and I added this journaling spot I just place a strip of pattern paper there and she can place a photo here or she can also place a photo here and just plain at the back and here there are three flip outs I made for smaller photos so she can put um, six small photos here and these are magnetized and this is a sticker from the collection a ruler and here she can place a photo and then I just added stickers there of a banner and a heart and then this is a packet and I place a large photo mat inside here she can place two photos and then this is for journaling and a sticker here a sticker here and that's just plain at the back and 
and then here on this page I made like a uh, pocket envelope and this one has a closure and this is a sticker little lady this one opens up like this she can add a photo here if she wants and then opens up like this and there's a side pocket here and I just placed this um, 3x4 from the pebbles paper collection and it says first haircut and she can write the date and place the photo here and another photo at the back and she can place something inside here if she wants and then another spot for photos or journaling and then here another spot for photo and I just added a sticker there sweetheart and I made a pocket here and this is a uh, I forgot what it's called but this is a pocket and I place a photo mat again the binding punch and then this is from the pebbles collection it says first see pick up and she can write the date and insert the photo and just plain at the back and this one opens up like this and this is a belly band and this is a sticker and I place a photo mat there and then just one moment I'm sorry my baby is already awake and um, she's very a little troublemaker you know and then here on this um, on this page um, sorry wait And I have to finish this video today because this album is with me for almost a month now. So I have to finish this. And where am I? Or on this packet. Oh, this is a packet. And then I just. This is. These two are from the Pebbles collection. And I fussy cut this part. It's. It says, said mommy, and then said daddy, and then she can write the date here. And then I place a journaling spot here. Oops, sorry. And then I made this um, fold out or like a card for the CD if she has um, videos of her daughter so she can place the CD here inside it will fit on this pack it will fit in this pocket and <clears throat> excuse me I just mat the front with the pattern paper and this is a sticker from the collection I placed there baby and I also placed there a sticker and also a sticker that I backed up with cardstock. So there. And then here is for the ninth month and tenth month. And on the next page. A large space again for photos or yeah for a large photo and then this one opens up and this is a pocket so she can add another photo here 
and then this is the insert I made this is also from the one moment this is also from the pebbles collection it says first steps and she can write the date and place the photo here or insert the photo then just plain at the back and I made a flip out here which is a pocket and I piece these two pattern, pattern paper together so she can add a photo here and another photo here. This is also two pattern paper that I piece together. And this is a tag. And she can add a photo here and then journal. And it says, this is a sticker. And I use my binding punch here. It says, adorable little lady and then she can place a photo here and I just added these stickers and then this is the last page Um, she can place um, two photos here, 4 by 4 photos, and this one opens up, and this one also opens up, another room for photos, and this one opens up, and this one has a pocket, and this is a sticker. And I place here um, a space for a photo or journaling and I just added this sticker there. Another spot for photos or journaling and I just added stickers there. Sweet girl. And this is for the... 11 month and 12th month and on the next page there's a side pocket here so she can insert something in here if she wants and this is also from the pebbles collection adorable first smile claps waves bye bye place peekaboo sits up crawls pulls herself up and stands and just place a photo at the back and then a spot for more photos and then here I made stock packet and place three photo mats or for journaling if she wants On this last on this um, on this right here this is a like a wallet card that I made and I place magnets there so it just sticks in there and this is a chipboard piece of a tree from the collection and these are stickers and I place here milestones and I place a closure here I made a closure and just plain at the back so this one opens up like this and opens up like this and I just place a sticker there and this is a waterfall and I place a sticker there and use my EK success binding punch here and I stamp here each um, photo mat um, first grasp, first bath, sorry I'm out of focus there, and first smile, 
first crawl first time to sit up first time standing alone first steps first independent eating so there and the back looks like this and I just placed my logo there and I didn't use um, craft text for this closure because I didn't have the white craft text I just have the black and the craft color so I just use Tyvek, Tyvek um, and it's still good it doesn't um, tear and that's my mini album I hope you like it and I hope she like this album and yes baby yes. sorry my baby uh, her time of sleep is just getting crazy again so I have to finish this uh, video and I only have like um, two to three hours a day sometimes only one to two hours to craft I don't have all the time in a day because I'm the only one taking care of her so anyways I hope you like my album and I'm um, hoping to um, create more mini albums and, and that's it that's my mini album thank you for watching and if you like this mini album please give a thumbs up and let me know what you think by leaving a comment and don't forget to subscribe until next time bye